Hi, I'm Tommy. I'm Chris. And I'm Cam. And, and we're doing our project on turkey, turkey vultures. vultures. <laughs> <laughs> so here they are, starting to circle. Now, if you can't see them, there's a little black specks flying around up there. Every night about this time, they come in from all over the city, you know, all around their birds. They can fly pretty far. And they start to circle around, get ready to roost in that tree over there that we're going to go show you. And it's pretty cool because as beer 30 starts, so does the vultures. So let's just start out by talking a little bit about turkey vulture taxonomy. So they're in the class Aves in the order Accipitriformis, which are uh, kind of detritivores and hawks. They're in the family Catharidae, uh, which is mainly vultures, in the genus Cathartes illiger, which is the turkey vulture, and they're the species Cathartes aura. This one's really high up there, but as you can see, oh, nope, 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 no, that's plenty. Uh, turkey vulture biology, um, their anatomical features, they tend to be black with a wingspan of about 173 to 183 centimeters and they have a bald head that's usually reddish purple that um, so that way when they're digging into carcasses you know, they don't get a lot of uh, gunk or shit on them. Turkey vultures tend to feed on uh, dead carcasses. They're not actually a threat to livestock or farmers because um, unlike black vultures they don't take young um, or small animals. They just take uh, they only feed on the dead ones. Turkey vultures are found all over North America. They can be found from southern Canada to all the way to uh, Cape Horn. Uh, reproduce. They tend to fly over grasslands, and when they reproduce, they don't usually build nests. They just find uh, protected little cavities or crevices in trees or cliffs to just lay their eggs in the open. So now we're, we're mobile. I'm gonna take, we're gonna take you around the corner and show you the turkey vulture's roosting spot there in that eucalyptus tree. Wow. Now, although this eucalyptus trees and the vultures are pretty bitching, <laughs> how cool is that mountain? And the sunset, look at that. You can't beat that. It's a beautiful mountain. It's it's, beautiful and look at, the, look, at the, look at the sky. A beautiful day for bird watching. And look, we got a jet. So as you can see, you might be able to hear them. Their big wings are just so loud. But this is some of the damage they do. Yeah, so I have my hat on here just in case, you know, I don't want to get poop on my head. And as you can see, or I think very likely, it, um, it could affect businesses. I, I mean, it's a bit of... it is a Chevy, but <laughs> I mean, no one wants their vehicle to get crapped on. Mm -hmm. And you can see the sidewalk and then the parking spot over there. This, this place is literally covered in poop. And no one wants to get covered in poop. <laughs> so if you were to talk about managing these local San Luis Obispo turkey vultures here, you could kind of, you know, you could cut off these trees and take away their roosting spot for the night. But, you know, it's okay to have a little poop on the ground for the huge role that they play in the ecosystem. Cleaning up the land from all the dead animals and just being a really peaceful presence they really make you feel good when you see them flying around. Coming in for the landing. <laughs> um, so, here, you know, in these 
what is it, four trees, eucalyptus that is, is there's probably about 25 of them I've been seeing and they, they come here. It's a cave in there. Cut, all right, redo. Here we got another late straggler coming in, joining the fam. Circling, finding the perfect spot for the night. Ooh, whoa. Probably what, 35 up there? Yeah, I did. So. It's hard to see, but. I think I'll, there's about 25 is my closest. I was looking. So every night, all of them circle around, find a nice spot to sleep for the night, safe with the group, group safety, buddy system. And then early in the morning, they'll leave here. We got a few more circling. They'll leave here and uh, search all day long. They probably go pretty far. I, I, you know, a Tascadero for a bird is not that far away. They probably go have a pretty big range looking for food, come back at around sundown sleep for the night and repeat it again and again <laughs> so as more and more keep piling in here and we just missed it there was two getting in oh, on up okay. doing that in public especially in a tree but they it's just fine for them so uh, turkey vultures are actually protected under the migratory bird treaty act of 1918 you cannot take them or trap them in any way without uh, fines of up to $15,000 or six months in jail. So uh, personal experience and then also another like caveat to them is they're found along roadways because that's where animals get ran over. That's where they die. Roadkill, right? We all see it and we've all seen turkey vultures. They're rubbing on it. So a personal experience for me is I've actually hit a turkey vulture. <laughs> And it cracked my windshield. That's all it did. But I'm sure there's been much worse cases of turkey vulture interactions with motor vehicles. And yeah, some people want their car to be pooped on. <laughs> <laughs> so now you've learned about turkey vultures. And at the end of the day, they're a valuable part of our ecosystem. And we're really appreciative for the work they put in. And uh, we're just going to let them be.